Big news from our parent company, Disney, announcing a slate of Star Wars and Marvel projects coming to Disney Plus and plenty major theater releases as well. TJ Holmes, you're that story, hey, TJ. George, you remember just last week, it was a major industry and streaming shakeup when Warner Brothers said they were putting their next year of new blockbuster movies released on streaming. Well, Disney just said, we'll see your move and raise you a hundred new titles. Just announced a hundred new projects. Most of them are going to be going to streaming. So you got about to get a little Lando, some Vader, throw in some Pinocchio, even a little Buzz Lightyear. The streaming wars are heating up this morning as Disney announces a slew of new original programming, hoping to add to its already expectations shattering 86 million Disney Plus subscribers. And they're going to take real good care of you. Ten new Star Wars projects are on the way. Hayden Christensen will don Vader's mask alongside Ewan McGregor in Obi-Wan Kenobi. You underestimate my power. Donald Glover will return as Lando Calrissian in a new series called Lando. You might want to buckle up, baby. New Marvel projects are on the way, including Miss Marvel and Secret Invasion starring Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. You want to get personal. Plus spin-offs, reboots, sequels for some Disney favorites. Glorious. Two new series based on Iron Man characters, Tom Hanks in a live-action Pinocchio, and a Buzz Lightyear origin story. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> but while Thursday's announcements revealed a jam-packed Disney Plus slate, there will still be plenty to catch on the big screen. Following last week's controversial decision by Warner Brothers to release all of its upcoming movies on streaming the same day as theaters. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. Disney is committing to releasing their long-awaited blockbusters on the big screen. I'm done running. Black Widow and Eternals both still set to debut in theaters next year. You got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins will become the first woman filmmaker for a Star Wars film. Rogue Squadron, expected to hit theaters Christmas of 2023, oh dedicating her first foray into the Rebel Alliance to her late father, a fighter pilot. Now I found a movie about two things I love, so I'm going to see you very soon. Marvel also revealing that when Black Panther returns to the big screen, producers won't recast the late Chadwick Boseman's role. His portrayal of T'Challa the Black Panther is iconic and transcends any iteration of the character in any other medium from Marvel's past. And it's for that reason that we will not recast the character. Instead, the sequel will focus on other characters from Wakanda now missing its king. I am not king of all people. I am king of Wakanda. Well, I do need to let consumers know, as you say, thank you, Disney, for all these new titles. There is going to be a dollar increase for the service early next year for Disney+. Plus. But back to the Chadwick Boseman. They, this was something that fans called for immediately after his passing. Do not recast this character. It's his. It will forever be him. And they're not going to do it. And they say specifically to honor Chadwick Boseman. No doubt. It's the right decision. Yep. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.